Hi everybody. Uh, I decided to make this video of the comparison between three different symbol uh, series from Sabian. I, I only play Sabian, so I can only do this comparison for their symbols. But um, you know, I think there are um, similar uh, types of manufacturing put into other symbol lines from other companies, um, from Pasty, Meinl, Zildjian, um, Istanbul, Heartbeat. I think they all do similar things in their manufacturing that are the aspects or the um, characteristics of the way that these are made, with the exception of the FRX from Sabian. I, I think that one's pretty unique. Um, but otherwise, this might give you an idea for other other brands and if their symbols are manufactured or, or designed in a similar way, the sound you would get. So this will be a comparison between just the 18-inch crashes from each of those series. Um, I don't have full sets of everything from hats to rides to crashes to effects in each series, so I'm not going to be able to really do that. But I think just by comparison the crashes, you'll hear the characteristics of each series, I guess, because they follow a similar you know, methodology in their design and, and, and manufacture within the series. And, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be helpful to you. Um, the the three specific symbols um, and series I'm going to be going over is the um, Sabian HHX series. So this is the um, HHX Complex Thin Crash 18-inch. Um, this has a heavy, heavy hammering um, throughout the symbol, including up and through the bell. This is thin. They do make a medium uh, complex medium crashes, I believe, and medium and thin uh, rides as well. I have the medium ride actually right here. Um, you know, the, the, the main tonal qualities of this that you'll hear are, um, you know, it's a rather dark symbol. Um, it opens up very, very quickly. Um, it's got a very decent volume. I would say it's, it's among the loudest of, of the three. Um, and it just has a very nice, pleasant, um, I think, sound both in, in swells and in crashes and uh, the bell. So you'll hear all that as we do the demo. But that's the uh, HHX Complex Thin Ride. And that one's an 18-inch. Um, then we'll talk about the FRX 18-inch um, Crash. I have um, I have several of the I have the I have all of the crashes actually I think 16, 17, 18, and 19. I mostly use the 18 and 19 inch. Um, this is also a pretty thin symbol, um, and the unique design element in this symbol there is a, a, a bit of hammering. Um, I think this is like an HH line type symbol that that they use, um, and then it's got a raw bell and and these holes right around the bell coming up just a little bit maybe actually maybe about halfway into the bell um, are these just concentric circles of, of holes that are, are drilled in cut into the symbol and um, this takes a bit of work to get it to open up you got to hit it um, and it, it it also is very um, it's got some volume to it but not it, you don't really hear it as pronounced. I think the, the reduction in frequencies reduce the frequencies that stand out to you more. I don't know that it's necessarily quieter. It does, it does sound quieter, though, in the room. And it does tend to take a bit to open up, like I said, but also it, it, it'll close down. It'll, it'll kind of decay very quickly. Um, so that's the, that's the FRX 18-inch crash. The other one that I'm going to play is the AAX Explosion Crash. The reason why I'm, I, I, I bought this, actually, as part of what Sabian calls their Praise and Worship Symbol Pack. Um, so it came with a set of medium hats, um, a 16-inch and 18-inch Explosion Crash, and a 20-inch uh, Medium Ride. So... Um, you know, the, this this is marketed as a praise and worship symbol, and I have used it um, plenty. Actually, it was one of the first, you know, big symbol packs I'd, I'd ever bought. 
Um, and I think it, it does a great job in worship, but this really cuts through. This is a very loud symbol. Um, you know, so this would be really a lot more appropriate behind a, a shield for sure. Um, you can get away without a shield with either of the other two, certainly with the FRX. Um, with this symbol, though, uh, I've actually played it probably more playing rock um, than I have playing worship. Um, once I got the other symbols, I don't use this as often anymore for actually playing worship music or even recording um, in my home studio here. But I do keep it because it is a great symbol, and I think it does definitely has. And depending on what you're playing and how many crashes you have, you may want to mix this in. With, um, but you'll be able to hear. This is also a, a raw bell, um, and it's a, I guess, a brilliant finish on the, or maybe a traditional finish. You can see some of the hammering um, if you get the lighting right. Uh, AAX is not excessively hammered, um, and it is a very bright sounding symbol. It's not dark, it's a modern bright, is what they call it, and I agree 100%. So, um, what I'll do is I'll play these first with mallets. <clears throat> Got a set of mallets here. I'm going to play those with mallets so you can kind of hear the swell and get a, um, a nice uh, sense of the tone. I think swells bring out the tone of the cymbal um, a lot better than necessarily crashes. Crashes will give you more of the, um, you know, the, the impact, the decay rate. Um, the brightness or darkness of the symbol, um, I guess you would say. So, um, and then afterwards, I'll just recap and, um, you know, um, end the video. So, here we go.
So uh, just to, to recap, that was the uh, the AAX was the one over here on, on this side. This is my left, um, depending on the orientation of the video. Uh, it'll be either left or right, but this is this is the AAX was over here. Um, let me see if I can get the uh, actual, there we go, AAX. The uh, FRX was in the center here, and then the HHX was over here. Again, these are all 18-inch, so um, at least they're the same size. Uh, in, in the room here, um, you know, certainly you can, you can definitely, this one is piercing. This is a definitely a more piercing cymbal sound. It, it helps a lot to have my in-ears in to help isolate a little bit of that. Um, you know, so like I said, it's a very standout cymbal. Um, it's a beautiful cymbal and it, it really makes a, a very, um, you know, pronounced in your face kind of crash. Um, I think the the bell and the bow um, are have a nice separation between them. You don't hear that so much with the FRX, the bell and the bow. It's difficult to hear, or you you know you can hear the difference, but it's certainly not as pronounced a difference. Similar on the HHX, I think the bell and the bow is better than the FRX, but not as nice as it is on the AAX. The bell definitely stands out a lot more. Um, you know, as far as just the the uh, the sound on the HHX side, like very very nice sound. Um, you know, I think this would suit being either behind a shield or not if you were in a big enough place. Nothing small and tiny. You know, um, I would say you'd need to be in at least something that was maybe like a uh, a room the size of, say, about 50 wide by 100 deep. If you're in about a 50 by 100 type of church or small auditorium, um, say maybe a 200 seater or something like that, um, think movie theater, uh, this would probably be OK, um, either either behind or not behind a shield. And um, and then the FRX, though, was definitely a lot more subdued. Um, it, it, you know, came in um, with a little bit of work, but went out pretty quickly. And then, um, you know, just tonally, it, it was very much in the middle, I think, between the two. It had some brightness to it, but not cutting, um, not sharp brightness. And, um, you know, but it, it had a nice mid mid-tone. Nothing too dark and deep, but um, you know, just a great overround symbol. Definitely, I use this a lot in small acoustic venues. Anything, like I said, even at like movie theater, and I have actually played it in the movie theater um, uh, with a mobile church, uh, and um, on a little PDP bop kit, they'll mic just the drums. Um, the bleed from the mics with from the cymbal bleed is plenty. Uh, you can hear it on their live feed just fine. And people in the auditorium aren't bothered by it at all. Um, so that's that's a great symbol in those situations, I think. And I, that's exactly where I use it. I combine that with a, a thin, a 21-inch AAX thin ride that I have. And the um, AAX Thin Hats. So I have Thin Hats, Thin Ride, and FRX crashes two of them in that setup. In my home studio, I play the HHXs constantly. Those are, um, you know, great for recording. Um, Live-wise, um, Behind a Shield is where I've mostly played those. Like I said, though, I could easily see it. Um, I don't know that I've actually played them without a shield. Um, but but I definitely could, I think, um, you know, and they're they're a beautiful symbol. Lots of character. Um, they got a small amount of trashiness to them, I think, um, in the sound. But um, you know, they're they're loud, but they're not cutting. They're piercing sound, if you kind of understand that. And then the AAX uh, Praise and Worship set. I think if you're looking for a cymbal pack on a budget and, you know, you want the top quality, these are top quality cymbals. Um, the cymbal pack is quite reasonable because it's a big combination of things. Um, you know, then then I think that's a, a great way to go. But I, I would definitely recommend 
um, not using them unshielded in smaller venues. Um, and if you are going to mic them, I think just, you know, look at how you're going to EQ them in, in you know, some of your other um, settings around gating and, and compression. You may want to light, light gating and maybe a little heavier compression. Um, but live wise, yeah, I would, I would definitely with those uh, go behind a shield, um, I guess would be the main, the main thing I would say as far as where and how to use them. Um, so I'll, you know, end the video with just saying that I like all three of those. Um, I think other cymbal manufacturers certainly have this thinner, heavier hammered and, and these come in very large sizes. I actually have the 18 is my smallest of the HHX series. Um, I have the 19, 20, and 22-inch thin, complex thin crashes in that series. Um, so definitely big, you know, nice, washy, dark cymbals. And I think Heartbeat makes that pretty much exclusively. Um, you know, the uh, I know Zildjian has a line that are, are, are like that. Um, Meinl certainly has Byzance, which I think kind of match up well to these. Um you know, and then uh, Istanbul, Agops, I, I think kind of line up well with those. I, I think I, so all of those are relatively equivalent. I happen to be a Sabian guy, so I got the HHX complex thins. Um, but I think all those other series are similar. FRX, though, you won't find that anywhere else. They'll, the L80s are not the same um, from Zildjian or whatever other like low volume um, practice symbols. I think a GN makes sort of a low volume symbol, but it's a low volume symbol. It actually is a reduced volume. It's not just re reduced frequency. Um, there's really nothing else like the FRXs, so I couldn't tell you what else you could match up to this. Um, even if you're not a Sabian person, I think, um, or a Sabian drummer, um, it, to me it was absolutely, at least for a couple of crashes, just you know, whatever else you use on your kit, mix in these FRX crashes. That's what I do. I don't use FRX ride or hats. I just use thin. Um, but for the crashes, I have the, I have the four, but I use mostly the, just the two, the 18 and 19 inch FRX crashes, um, set up, you know, here and here on a three piece kit. It's a, it's a great, it's a great way to go for, um, smaller venues without sacrificing really the sound, the dynamics you get from real symbols versus like a an e kit, um, so those are my that's my experience, my feedback, my recommendations on these. I hope that you know if you're watching this video, you found that helpful. If you have, please share this with other drummers, um, with worship drummers or just drummers in general that might you know get a lot out of this information. And um, you know if you can like and share the video, that would be helpful too. Uh, thank you for taking the time to tune in, and uh, you know, I hope that you uh, you have a, a blessed time, you know, just you know, in His service. So, take care.